Hello friends, welcome to Starfire Code's channel messages. This is a collective reading. The dates on my readings are the dates on which they were channeled. All of my readings are timeless. Whenever they find you, that's when they're meant for you. Please remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this reading resonates with you and you would like to access the rest of the reading, which includes the tarot cards that were pulled, numerology, shuffle Nancy, and often clear audience, there's a link to the extended reading below in the description box. Extended readings are located on Substack at starfirecodes.substack.com. A subscription to my Substack will provide you with access to the extended archive of all of my readings. To book a personal reading, you may contact me at the email address in the description box below. Let's begin. Step off the karmic hamster wheel. Try not to drink too much of that archontic light Kool-Aid. The light is fake. The lessons are to make you experience pain as catharsis, so you will write it off as beneficial because pain is loose generative, and karmic contracts are how you are kept here. Your own sense of guilt and obligation turned against you. Step off the karmic hamster wheel. You get to choose. Remember, Passio, New Age bullshit is a psyop. Universal law is what matters, natural law. We have a balance of the masculine and feminine for a reason. Sometimes taking action is appropriate. These guru types keep talking about frequencies and frequency anchors. They never explain what they mean by that. That's really abstract, pumpkin. You're so mysterious not helpful. We balance our polarities. We don't use light to burn away darkness. The two coexist. If the light assaults the darkness, the darkness retaliates. You bring them into harmony by healing them together. The superego can be as much of a dipshit as the ego or the id. If the light gives the darkness a hug, the darkness cries it out and the lights embrace and they reharmonize. It's not that difficult to understand. Hurt people hurt people. If your thoughts, emotions, and actions are in alignment with universal law, you will feel it. This is your intuition. Everyone has experienced this. Everyone has this inherently. You'll know when something is off balance because in your gut, your experience will be that you feel like shit. Whatever feeling like shit feels like for you, if some aspect of your life is out of alignment, it will feel like that. Healing brings that back into balance. Thought, emotion, action. For some, their experiences have been so destructive to their connection with higher self that they have lost touch with their intuition. If this has happened to you, it takes time and work, but you can reconnect with it by listening for it through developing an active meditation practice. Anyone can do this. This is not difficult. Don't make it difficult. It's hard enough to deal with all of the shadow work surrounding this without making this conceptually harder than it is. This shouldn't be shrouded in some kind of contrived cloak of mystery. Too much made-up guru-speak floating around out there, not enough substance or practicality. Don't fall for it, Mooney. You don't need a fucking guru. People need to know why having control of your full spectrum of brainwave patterns is useful. They tend not to even recognize that this is what we're discussing when we're talking about raising your frequency. The reason why you're supposed to be high vibe is because it places your brainwaves in the gamma state. I totes can't with this asinine new age jargon already. It's like listening to a teenager speak when their parents fail to correct their diction. For reals, totes cringio. Gamma brain wave state enables channeling. Want to get a message from your higher self while you're still awake? You go to gamma brain wave state. You want to do it while you're sleeping, meditating, shamanic journeying, lucid dreaming, etc. That's alpha bridge to theta. Very simple. This is not rocket science. This is your human experience. Anyone can do this. This is your birthright as a human being. Please don't let anyone make this harder for you than it is. Perception. The familiar image of the stage is often used as a metaphor for the human experience. Iconic masks of comedy and tragedy, ancient symbols of theatrical culture invoke a spectrum of extreme human emotion. Captured here is the vision of an actress, the red of the curtain, her shoes, and flower in her hair combine to intensify the atmosphere of vitality and passion. She holds a feathered mask in her right hand. Her bold and sweeping pose could be communicating many things, but in the absence of words, the audience is left to interpret the relationship between actress and mask through the lens of perception. This card highlights the skill of perception, which encompasses the realm of intuition and extrasensory perception. It is at work while divining with these oracle cards, or indeed any system of divination. While the perception card invites you to be open to its gifts, realize that like the actress, 
It has equal power to delude as it does to facilitate clear thinking, residue from past experiences, the roles we currently play, and our desires and goals for the future can all color the way we perceive. By being mindful of these potential influences, we can be free from their limitations, stand back from the play of life as part of the audience to not only enjoy a better view, but to gain a greater perspective and appreciation of the storyline. If this reading resonated with you and you would like to access the rest of the reading, which includes tarot cards that were pulled, numerology, shuffle mancy, and often clear audience, there is a link to the extended reading below in the description box. Extended readings are located on Substack at starfirecodes.substack.com. For a monthly or yearly fee, a subscription to my Substack will provide you with access to the extended archive of all of my readings. If you would like to book a personal reading, you may contact me at the email address in the description box below. However, if this is where we leave each other, I wish you all the best, have a wonderful day friends, and I'll see you next time.